our show. I'm Linda, and everybody calls me Granny. Three years, and I was a mama before I was 20 year old of three kids. And how old were you before you were a grandmother? I was 35. I was 35 when I had my first grandchild. And now I make a job. I had six grandkids. And I prayed that God would give me one great one before I passed away. I've got ten. <laughs> the kids asked me, how did we live without a McDonald's? <laughs> we went to bed with the biscuits Mom had left over. We didn't have chips and lunch and meat and all that good stuff. Stuff to get up and snack out of the Cookies fridge. And <laughs> I'm Sandy. I am Aunt Sandy to everybody around here. Mom's sidekick because she's getting rheumatoid arthritis. I do most of the squishing and the peeling. My daddy, he loved to dance. He could dance really good. He'd turn all the lights off, turn all the lanterns on. Now we had lanterns at work. Oh. And turn that music on. And he'd try to get mom up to dance with him, but mom can't dance. And I'd have to dance with him. And we would go over to North Carolina to his sister's house, usually at least once a month and spend the weekend. And they have what they call these big barn dances. But none of them knew how to dance, but me and him and Bobette. And we would square dance and, and do all that kind of dancing. But it was a family place. There was no alcohol, no nothing. It was, it was a clean, you know, just a barn dancing, but we used to do that at least once a month. I'm Mima Dixie. Um, this is my mom, and I'm the elder of the family. <laughs> I'm Aunt Sandy, and I'm the next to the oldest. Well, I guess I'm just granny. <laughs> my mom used to tell us when we was growing up and we'd go to church, she'd say, now don't get down there and air out your dirty bloomers. And what she meant is don't get out down there and tell what you've done at home what you shouldn't have done. <laughs> so. Got extra, She's extra got energy. extra. <laughs> so who wants to say it? Just Happy New Year from Granny Women. Mama. Granny, go for it. Happy New Year from the Granny Women. <laughs> <laughs> she blowed off the other end. <laughs> some greens that my son and his friend picked for me yesterday and I'm going to put them in the 
wash them real good and then we'll put them in the water and boil them and then we'll we'll can them eat this winter and get fry some meat and put them down in the grease and now that looks like grass so how do you know what you can eat and what you can't these are turnip greens and mustard greens that's all they planted You just have to pick through it. But there's a lot of long stems. They didn't pick them like I picked mine. They just pulled them up. So I'm having to cut the, the big stems off of them. I don't like those big, thick stems. Okay, we have boiled our greens. And they boiled for about three or four hours till they got tender. And uh, we're letting them cool down just a little bit. And then we're going to put them in our quart jars and give them a good water bath so they'll seal. Beans and cornbread. <laughs> Beans. I like greens. I can just fried eat potatoes. greens. Plain fried potatoes. I fixed them the other night. I fried fish and fixed greens. So I can eat greens with anything. And I, I guess out of the green family, I guess greens is one of my favorite vegetables. Is greens and broccoli, I guess. My Mine favorite. would be peas. Cindy likes peas. I like fresh peas. I like the canned peas, but I like fresh frozen Albert Garden peas. I like green beans too, but I guess broccoli and greens are my two favorites. And the vegetable line in the That's an ant mix wise, she would eat a whole jar. Now my oldest son, he absolutely loved greens when he was a baby. And when he was even little growing up, he come out come in the house, he'd say, Mama, please just fix us some grass. That's what he called greens was grass. But That's he loved he greens. He still likes greens. Green has had some grass today. Like after you get them out of the can? I cook mine and then I drain them really good. I put them in a colander and let them in the sink and let them drain good. And then put them in my jars and then I put fresh cold water in them. And probably about a half a tablespoon of salt and fill the jar up and then put them in the canner and can them. And then when it's time to cook them, you just take it out and heat them up? Yeah. I drain the water. the water. I drain the water out. Fry fat I fry fat back in the skillet and take the grease and the fat. I take fat back out and eat it. But then the grease that's left in the skillet, you just pour your greens in there and that flavors them. That's how you do. You cook yours the same way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't cook them. <laughs> you don't eat them either. Oh, I eat them. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the big cooker here. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I don't like to cook. I cook. I'm a very good cook, but I don't do it if I don't have to. <laughs> and sometimes she's mad when she has to. And that's and that, when it tastes the best. <laughs> <laughs> do you like to cook? Yeah, I like to cook. If I got something to cook, I love to cook. I don't like cleaning up the mess afterwards, but I usually have to do that too. <laughs> Do you cook your greens the same way Dixie does? Oh yeah. And then the fried cornbread. Did you grow up eating that? Yeah, we ate fried cornbread. Daddy called them flitters. flitters. <laughs> cornbread flitters. Sometimes we take them. Just mix your cornmeal up and drop it in hot skillet and fry it like you would a pancake. Me and him, sometimes we'd get real happy and we'd slice up onions in it and mm -hmm. fry them with onions in it and just whatever. He said, hey, dog, let's put some of this in it. <laughs> take it out of the skillet and put butter on it. Just sit there and eat your buttered cornbread. You we do it all it. the time when we go camping because you don't have an oven or anything to bake your bread in. So I always fix cornbread flitters and take a jar of green beans, a jar of soup beans, whatever, and we come back from fishing. 
Just warm it up and you're done. Supper's Uncle ready. Dean cooks it all the time. He fixes it because it's a waste for him to make a big pan of cornbread just for him. And he loves cornbread, so he'll fry him a couple of cornbread. Well, since my stove's tore up and I can't bake me any cornbread, I'm going to fry me some cornbread. I haven't had any fried cornbread in a long time. I don't know if my kids just ever eat fried cornbread. So I'm going to put me some of our lard. We can. I'm going to drop it in the skillet and melt it. I probably have too much. my cornbread mixed up. I've just got meal and flour, sugar, and an egg and buttermilk. Don't know how these are going to turn out. But you never know till you try it. How do you know when it's fried enough to flip? When the bottom gets good and brown. You fry them like you do a pancake. Here's two that's done. I have never ate fried cornbread. Are you going to sample it for me? Sure. Okay, here's three cornbread flitters. I'm more interested in my chicken soup.